good day to all of you today we shall discuss on four variable k map which is used to simplify four variable boolean functions so four variables means 2 raised to 4 squares will be there in the k map so here 1 2 3 4 5 6 7 8 9 10 11 12 13 14 15 16 totally 16 squares will be there in the k map if input variables are w x y z 2 will be written here that is w x are written here y z are written here for any two variables four combinations will be there that is 0 0 0 1 1 1 1 0 these are the four combinations for y z variables here for w x the four possible combinations are 0 0 0 1 one zero and one one here so they are written here next this is the place for min term zero this is for min term one here m2 min term two min term three min term four five six seven min term eight nine ten eleven twelve thirteen fourteen fifteen so this is what we have to remember so for simplifying four variable boolean function 2 raised to 4 squares have to be drawn in the k map and the two variables are to be written here the next two variables here so the four possible combinations of two variables here and for these two variables here that we have to write next we have to remember the places for different min terms that is starting from min term 0 to min term 15 totally 16 min terms will be there so another way of writing the k map is as follows the same wx is written here yz is written here here wx for that 00, 0 means it is w dash x dash yz01 means y dash z yz11 means it is yz yz10 means y is 1 z is z dash so instead of 0 0 both are complemented here so w dash x dash so 1 1 means here for yz it is not complemented yz so here yz00 means y dash z dash in complemented form. So that is how in this square where w dash x dash and y dash z dash is present. So it is the min term m0 means w dash x dash y dash z dash. The second one is w dash x dash y dash z z so that is min term 1 0 0 0 1 w dash x dash y dash z that is what is written here here we should write m3 means 0 0 1 1 means here w dash x dash y z 0 0 1 1 w dash x dash y z here m2 means 0 0 1 0 0 0 means w dash x dash 1 0 means y z dash so this is another way of writing k map with the min terms so which is this min term w x y z this is also 1 and this is also 1 so it is min term 15 so 1 1 1 1 so that is 15 in binary so this 15 in binary is 1 1 1 1 so w x y z so this is m15 then what about this 1 0 1 0 so 1 0 1 0 in binary it is in decimal it is 10 so this here we have min term 10 that is min term 10 another way of writing is w x dash y z dash 1 0 
वन जीरो ओके सो गिवन इन एनी फॉर्म वी मस्ट बी एबल टू ड्रॉ द के मैम एंड फिल मीन टर्म्स प्रॉपरली सो दीज टू वी हैव टू रिमेंबर सो इफ यू लिस्ट द मीन टर्म्स फॉर फोर वेरिएबल्स से इनपुट फोर वेरिएबल्स आर डब्ल्यू एक्स वाई जेड सो मीन टर्म्स दट इज एम इट विल स्टार्ट फ्रॉम एम नॉट टू एम फिफ्टीन टोटली सिक्सटीन मीन टर्म्स विल बी देर दिस इज वन वे ऑफ राइटिंग मीन टर्म्स दिस इज अनदर वे ऑफ राइटिंग मीन टर्म्स इन टर्म्स ऑफ इनपुट वेरिएबल्स इफ ए बी सी डी आर गिवन इन टर्म्स ऑफ ए बी सी डी ओनली वी शुड राइट सो हियर द फर्स्ट मीन टर्म इज डब्ल्यू एक्स वाई जेड वेन ऑल द इनपुट्स आर जीरो 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 देन द डेसिमल इक्वलेंट ऑफ दिस इज जीरो हेन्स दिस इज कॉल्ड एज एम नॉट Another way of writing is w dash x dash y dash and z dash. So and operator is there. W dash and x dash and y dash and z dash. That means w is zero and x is zero and y is zero and z is zero. That is what the meaning of min term here. It is a product term because in between and operator is there. so it looks like a product so it is called as product term in the digital logic so here what we can write for this 3001 means in binary it is in decimal equivalent of this is 1 hence this is called as min term 1 m1 so in another way w dash x dash y dash z we can write in between and is there instead of reading as w dash and x dash and y dash and z we can say w dash x dash y dash z so that is the product term this is called as min term 1 so 0 0 1 it is in binary so decimal equivalent is 2 hence with respect to this min term 2 is present that is m2 so another way of writing min term is w dash x dash y z dash this way all the min terms starting from m not so then m1 m2 m3 m4 m5 m6 m7 m8 m9 m10 m11 m12 m13 m14 m15 all the min terms can be written so what is m9 so 9 in decimal in binary 1001 so when we write this in terms of input variables w x dash y dash z so that is what is written these are the two ways of writing the min term okay so this is the prerequisite that we should know in case of four variable boolean function which min terms are given that we must be able to identify draw the corresponding k map and fill min terms which are given in the expression then group the min terms and get the simplified solution okay so next we shall solve example 1 simplify using k map f1 equal to sigma m of 0 1 4 5 11 14 15 so these are the min terms the small m stands for min terms the sigma stands for sum of min terms so min term is a product term this is a min term so this is a product term so these are all products sum of products so function is given in the form of sum of products okay then this function will be true for all these min terms means the output will be one for min term 0 min term 1 min term 4 min term 5 11 14 and 15 so here only we had listed inputs and corresponding min terms here one more column if we take output we can write here then in that column whichever min term is there only for that we will have to fill one remaining will be zero means function is true or logic one only for those min terms which are there in the expression 
so this is the expression this is of how many variables so here number of variables is not given we have to identify 15 is the maximum moment term here so to express 15 in binary 4 bits are required hence it is a four variable expression so to simplify this the solution is as follows let w x y z be the four input variables we can take as a b c d also first we must write what input variables we are taking or if given in the expression we will have to consider whatever they have given okay now we have to simplify this expression using k map as part of solution first we have to in identify how many input variables are there now in this expression because 15 is the maximum min term to express that four variables are required hence it is a four variable boolean function so four variable boolean function means in the k map we we'll have to draw 2 raised to 4 16 squares okay so the k map is as follows how many squares 16 squares why because four input variables are there 2 raised to 4 16 squares so 1 2 3 4 4 4 are 16 squares we have drawn and in the corner here we have taken four variables w x y z w x we will write here y z we will write here then for both the variables here possible four combinations 0 0 0 1 here 1 0 1 1 we write here and for y z 0 0 0 1 1 0 1 1 we write here so after writing we have to fill min terms here so which min term is present in the boolean function 0 is present hence here 1 min term 1 is present 1 2 is not present 3 is not present 4 is present 1 5 is present 1 6 is not present 7 is not present 8 is not present 9 is not present 10 also not present but 11 is present so we fill 1 because function is true or logic 1 for that min term so then 12 13 are not present 14 15 are present so whichever min terms are present in the given function we fill 1 in those squares in the k map 0 is present so 1 this is min term 0th place m0 place m1 m2 m3 m4 m5 m6 m7 m8 m9 m10 m11 m12 m13 m14 m15 i repeat the places for min terms in the k map m0 m1 m2 m3 m4 m5 m6 m7 m8 m9 m10 m11 m12 m13 m14 m15 okay so these places are fixed we must remember them then seeing to the expression min term 0 is present so in that place 1 min term 1 is present 1 2 3 are not present min term 4 and 5 are present 1 1 6 is not present 7 is not present 8 9 10 not present but 11 is there so min term 11 place here 1 12 13 are not present 14 and 15 are present so 14 15 min term 14 min term 15 we have to fill 1 and 1 there so after filling that is next we have to group once we have to go for biggest group all 16 are not 1 so group of 16 1 is not possible anywhere all 8 are not 1 so the shape of the group should be rectangle or square diagonal we cannot take okay so octet is not possible then quad will have to see a group of four ones so this is a group of four ones adjacent ones okay 
how here on this line if you take a fold these two fall on this then again if you take a fold all fall in one square means all these four are adjacent so hence this is a group of four ones adjacent ones this is squared so we have marked it as group one next so with this one quad we have covered four ones we should try to cover we should cover all ones here so four ones are covered next what about these three quad is not possible see here then uh, these two are adjacent to each other rectangular shape okay if you take a fold here so fold here this falls on this so both of them come in one square they are adjacent this is a group of pair so this we call as second group so these two ones are covered but this one is left so nowhere 16 ones nowhere octet nowhere quad is possible for this next for pair these two we can pair how on this line if you take a fold this falls on this means both come in one square they are adjacent to each other they make a pair so this is third group so how many groups we have identified 1 2 3 group 1 is quad group 2 and 3 are pairs so when three groups the minimum number of groups we should take with that uh, we should try to cover all ones okay we have covered all ones now with the minimum number of groups three are more than enough now grouping we have to stop because three groups are there three terms will be there in the final expression that is next point so with respect to first group what is row wise common and column wise common that we have to write here okay so this is the first group we have marked four ones are there they fall in two rows in two rows they can be covered so here 0 0 is there 0 1 is there this 0 is common with respect to w hence this is called as w dash so w dash row wise it is common for group 1 next column wise so these four ones they fall in these two columns 0 0 0 1 this 0 is common with respect to y hence y dash is common column wise this is for first group what is row wise common what is column wise common that is ended so that term is written this term is with respect to 1 okay what about second group so this second group two ones are there both come in this row so row wise 1 1 means wx is common that is what we are writing w and x are common so w and x then in second group only column wise these two ones are the members of second group this is one column this is another column in two columns these members of the second group are covered so this column and this column so 1 1 1 0 so this one is common this one means y so y is common column wise for second group row wise wx column wise y so that we are writing here that is for second group similarly for third group the members are these two ones these two ones this comes in this row this comes in this row so these two one need these two rows in these two rows they are covered so 1 1 1 0 here this one is common that is with respect to w so we write w is common row wise for third group so this is third group column wise both fall in this column only so column wise 1 1 is common that is y z so y z this is with respect to third group row wise w is common column wise y z is common okay 
Now writing with respect to three groups, row wise what is common, column wise what is common in each group that we have written. So these form the final expression now. So these form the final expression. Hence simplified Boolean function is f1 equal to this w dash y dash or w x y or w y z. Okay. This is how using k map we simplify the given Boolean function. Okay. Next let us solve example 2. Simplify the Boolean function f2 of w x y z equal to sigma of 0 1 2 4 5 6 8 9 12 13 14. So this one we have to simplify using k map. So solution. So in this expression that is output is f2 and it is given the input variables are w x y z means it's a four variable expression. We will have to draw 2 raised to 4 that is equal to 16 squares that is first point. Second one sigma m small m is not given but it is sum means it will be of product terms only hence these will form main terms m0, m1 and so on till m14 whatever they have given. So 4 variable expression means 2 raised to 4 squares we have drawn in the k map. Then whichever min term is there in that square we will have to fill 1. So m0 is present. So this is 1. Then m1 is present. So in m1 place 1. m2 is present. So m2 place 1. M3 is not present. So we do not fill 1 there. Then 4, 5, 6 are present. 4, 5, 6. 7 is not present. 8, 9. 8, 9 are present. That is why we fill 1. 10, 11 are not there. 12 is there. 13 is there. 14 is there. 12, 13, 14. 15 is not there. So we should remember M0 to M15 places in the K map of 16 squares that is drawn for 4 variables. In respective squares, so wherever min term is present, whichever min term is present in the given Boolean expression, in that square here we have to fill 1. So drawing K map and filling once, seeing to given expression is over. The next step is we have to group once. The shape of the group should be either square or rectangle, not a diagonal one. Okay. So then all 16 are not 1, hence a group of 16 is not possible. Next biggest is uh, here octet. The first biggest a group of 16 is not possible. Then next smaller is group of 8 ones. These are all adjacent. How we can say adjacent? If you take a fold here, fold it. This falls on this, this falls on this, this on this, this on this. Next, if you take a fold here, these two fall on this. Again, take a fold here, they fall on this. Means, means all eight ones can come in one square. Means all these form one group. Okay, that we have taken group one, which is an octet, a group of eight ones. So, next, can we find anywhere 8? These 8 ones are covered. Now, these 3 we have to cover. So, these 3, nowhere 8 is possible here. 16 is not possible. 8 also is not possible. Then, we should try for quad. That is group of 4. So, these 2 observe here. If you take a fold on this line, these two fall on these two. Next again fold on this. They fall on one square. That is why these two ones and these two ones form one group. That we have marked as group 2. It is a quad. So these two are covered. To cover these two we are using these. Okay. We are using these two. Okay. So then this one is left. So to cover this 
a group of 16 group of 8 they are not possible next group of 4 this and this you take then on this if you take a fold these two one fall on this then again on this line if you fold so all come on one square this this and these two come in one square hence these two what green colored i have shown here and these two they form one group that is a group of quad this is very important when corner side edge side we have taking fold multiple fold are they going to fall in one square then they form a group they are treated as adjacent ones okay so this we mark as third group how many groups here this is one group that is octet this is second group a quad this is third group with three groups all ones we have covered then we have to stop grouping ones what is the next step with respect to each group what is row wise common and column wise common in each group we have to write so for first group so with respect to group 1 there are eight ones in this group these eight ones they are covered in 1 2 3 4 all the rows row wise nothing is common here 0001110 in all the four nothing is common so leave it these eight ones they are covered in in these two columns here 0001 what is common zero is common that is with respect to y hence y dash so in first group which is an octet row wise nothing is common so we leave it then column wise what is common y dash is common so this we have written then then with respect to second group which we have marked as second group this one this blue colored so these two and these two form a group of quad so these four ones they are covered in two rows here 0 0 0 so 0 is common with respect to w that we write w dash that is for second group and in group 2 for these two and these two one they are covered in two columns 0 0 1 this 0 this 0 is common that is with respect to z we write z dash so in group 2 w dash is common row wise and z dash is common column wise so that is what we have written here for group 3 this is group 3 this green colored means these two ones and these two ones so these four ones they are covered in these two rows 0 1 1 1 this one is common that corresponds to x so we have written x here that is for third group okay next these two ones and these two in the third group all four ones if you take they are covered in these two columns 0 0 so this 0 0 is common with respect to z hence z dash so in third group x is common with respect to row wise and z dash is common with respect to column okay so all the groups we have considered and row wise and column wise what are common in each group we have written here and these form the final expression hence simplified boolean function is equal to f2 of wx yz is equal to here y dash or w dash z dash or x z dash whether we write here yes or no and operator will be there instead of reading w dash and z dash we read w dash z dash it is a product this is another product here third one sum of products okay so the final expression is f2 of wx yz is equal to y dash or w dash and z dash or x and z dash okay next let us solve example 3 simplify the boolean expression which is of four variable 
that is f3 of a b c d equal to sigma of means sigma of min terms it is 0 2 5 7 8 9 10 11 13 and 15 okay so 2 raised to 4 squares that is 16 squares we have drawn in the k map then a b c d are the input four variables a b are written here and c d are written here for two variables four combinations 0 0 0 1 1 0 1 1 are written here for a b and for c d 0 0 0 1 1 0 1 1 are written so after this the next step is whichever min terms are present in those squares here we have to fill 1 0 2 are present min term 0 2 so m not in this place 1 here m1 is not present 2 is present 1 3 is not present 4 is not present but 5 is present so here 1 6 is not present 7 is present 8 is present 9 10 11 so here 8 9 10 11 so in min term 8 9 10 11 we have to fill 1 okay then 12 is not present here so don't fill 1 here 13 is present so that is why 1 14 is not present 15 is present so that is why 1 so after filling 1 we will have to group once so with minimum number of groups we will have to cover all ones here now these 4 form a quad nowhere of a group of 16 is possible because all 16 are not 1. Then nowhere octet a group of 8 is also not possible. Because these two here but there is no 1. So nowhere octet is possible. Then we have to try for quad. So these four ones are adjacent. The group is of square shape. It can be of rectangle shape but it cannot be of diagonal shape diagonally we cannot group so these four ones form one quad how you take fold on this then these two fall on these two next again for take a fold on this then all come in one square so all four are adjacent to each other they form a group so these four are covered in group that is one next if you observe here uh, here these four they form one quad this is of rectangle shape this was of square shape this is of rectangle shape okay but diagonally we cannot take so this is taken as here third group before that second group second group if you take this is red marked so second group this red marked group so this one 2, 3, 4. These four ones make a group that is squared. They are treated as adjacent. Why? On this line if you take a fold, these two one fall on these two. Again on this line if you take a fold, all fall in same square. Hence 1, 2, 3, 4 make a group. Because four members it is a quad. This is second group. In first group these four ones are covered. In second group these four ones are covered. These two are left. Then nowhere 16, nowhere octet. Now at least then we have to try for quad. So these two ones with the help of these two they form a group of four members. That is quad. Okay. How they make a adjacent group? On this line if you take a fold these two fall on this. Again on this if you take a fold all come in one square. Hence this is a group of four ones it is a quad. So with these uh, three groups all the ones are covered. We have to stop grouping. Next with respect to each group row wise what is common column wise what is common we will have to write. So with respect to first group. So which is first group this group. So, 1, 2, 3, 4 ones are there. These are covered in these two rows. 
here 0 1 1 1 this one is common that is with respect to B hence B is written here okay with respect in first group then so first group members column wise they are covered in these two columns 0 1 1 1 this one is common that is D so that is D row wise B is common and column wise D is common this is for first group next for second group so this is a corner once that is second group which we have shown with the red mark here that is second group 1 2 3 4 these four ones these two come in this row these two come in this row hence they are covered in this row and this row 0 0 1 0 this 0 and this 0 common which corresponds to B that is what is B dash we have written ok next these four ones they are covered in these two columns here 0 0 1 0 this 0 is common with respect to D hence D dash so in second group row wise B dash is common column wise D dash is common then in third group this is third group 1 2 3 4 these four ones are there all are covered in same row so row wise 1 0 is common with respect to a b 1 0 means a b dash ok so a b dash that we have written here so these four ones column wise means they are covered in this column this column this column this column to cover all the four we will have to pass through all the columns here column wise nothing is common 0 0 0 1 1 1 1 0 so column wise nothing is common in these four columns hence column wise nothing is common but row wise a b dash is common that is what we have written so in each group row wise and column wise what are common we have written these form the final expression hence simplified boolean function is f3 of a b c d equal to this is b d or b dash d dash or a b dash this is the answer next we shall solve example 4 this is little bit different problem simplify the following boolean function f4 equal to a dash b dash c dash or b dash c d dash or a dash b c d dash or a b dash c dash ok next the solution here using k map we have to solve this right that is not specified but uh, in this video we are considering how to simplify boolean functions using k map only ok so in that respect we have to solve this problem using k map means uh, the given expression has to be simplified using k map so a dash and b dash and c dash it is a product term it is a min term so here a b c variables are present here b c d variables are present so totally how many input variables are there 4 so then f4 is 4 variable expression ok then in each product 4 variables must be there that kind of product we should find first as a part of solution so f4 equal to a dash b dash c dash as it is we write which is missing here d is missing so in bracket d or d dash we write anything odd with its own complement is 1 only here 1 is present instead of 1 d or d dash we write next b dash c d dash as it is which is missing here a so in bracket a or a dash then or a dash b c d dash all the four variables are present we keep it as it is but the next one when we take here a b dash c dash which is missing there d so into or logically ended with d or d dash that is what we have to write as first step because we have to get the min terms to fill in k map so that is equal to 
so a dash b dash c dash and d that we have written or a dash b dash c dash d dash that we have written here or this as it is b dash c d dash and a so a b dash c d dash a b dash c d dash then or a dash b dash c d dash a dash b dash c d dash next this or as it is this term as it is because all four literals are there input variables are there next to this or as it is a dash b dash c dash d then this or a b dash c dash d dash here okay so equal to next this is a dash b dash c dash d a is 0 and b is 0 and c is 0 and d is 1 0 0 0 1 in binary triple zero one decimal means one so m one this is been term one so first table what i discussed from that you can remember or on spot you can write also okay then a dash b dash c dash d dash all are zero 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 means it is min term zero here one zero one zero means 10 it is min term 10 0 0 1 0 that is min term 2 0 1 1 0 min term 6 1 0 0 1 min term 9 1 0 0 0 min term 8 now these are the min terms now from the given expression we have arrived at this okay so f4 of a b c d is equal to sum of so sigma of these mean terms m0 m1 m2 m6 m8 m9 m10 hence f4 of a b c d is equal to sigma m of 0 this is 1 2 6 8 9 10 okay so after obtaining this kind of expression we can draw the k map so because four input variables are there we have to draw a k map of 2 raised to 4 squares 16 squares so this is the k map of 16 squares and here a b two variables are written here c d two variables are written here there are four combinations for a b 0 0 0 1 1 0 1 1 are written here for C D 0 0 0 1 1 0 1 1 are written here and what min terms are obtained here from the given expression so min term 0 is present in the given expression so m not in that place 1 so m1 is present in that place 1 so m2 is present in that place we have to fill 1 m3 is not present don't fill 1 here 4, 5 is not present. M4, M5 is not present. M6 is present. Fill in that place 1. M7 is not present. 8, 9, 10 are present. M8, M9, M10. They are present. Hence, M8, M9, M10 in their place fill 1. Here, min term 11, 12, 13, 14, 15. They are not present. Hence, don't fill 1. So now filling of ones seeing to the expression in the k-map is over. Next we have to group ones. Okay. Now these two ones, these two ones, they form a group of quad. A group of 16 ones is not possible. All are not one. No way a group of 8 octet is also not possible because a group of adjacent 8 ones is not possible is not there next we have to try for quad these two and these two form a group that is group one how if you take on this line a fold these two fall on this and again next again on this line if you take a fold all come and fall on one square hence these two and these two all the four form one group 
that we have written that is a quad a group of four ones so these four ones are covered now these three ones we have to cover okay now if you observe this here this red mark this one two three four form one group so to cover this we can get a quad here how on this line if you take a fold these two ones fall on this again on this line if you take a fold those two come here hence these all four fall on only one square they form a group it is a quad so they are adjacent ones hence whatever red mark group we have shown that is second group who are the members 1 2 3 4 these four ones now these two covering is over next this is remaining if one were here we could have gone for quad but one is not here so here also one means if we could have had a, gone for a quad no one here so then this can be paired with this how on this line if you take a fold this falls on this these two come in one square they are adjacent ones hence this is one group that is third group so with three groups we have covered all ones with minimum number of groups we have should cover all ones that is over next in each group row wise what is common column wise what is common that we have to write first group so which is first group this 1 2 3 4 these members these two in this row these two in this row they are covered in this row and in this row 0 0 and 1 0 are there so in these two 0 0 1 0 this 0 is common here that with respect to b so b dash and column wise these two and these two we are talking about first group they fall in these two columns so here 0 0 0 1 so this 0 is common that corresponds to c hence c dash so this is for first group okay so in first group row wise b dash is common column wise c dash is common then moving on to second group which is second group this red marked these four ones so these four ones if you observe they are covered in two rows so 0 0 1 0 are there this 0 and this 0 is common with respect to b hence we write b dash for second group that is row wise common then column wise so in second group 1 2 3 4 these four ones if you observe column wise they fall in these two columns these four members we have to observe they are covered in these two columns so this here it is 0 0 1 0 this 0 is common that is with respect to d so d dash that is what we have written here next in the group 3 which is group 3 this one this pair is group 3 how many ones are there two ones these are the members of group 3 in how many rows are covered in how many rows they are covered these two so this row and this row because this comes in this row this comes in this row so to cover both two rows are required 0 0 0 1 this zero is common with respect to a we write a dash and this is for third group so in third group row wise over column wise both are covered in single column so 1 0 is common that with respect to cd cd dash cd dash we have to write so in third group row wise a dash is common cd dash is column wise common now writing row wise and column wise what are common in each group is over these form the final expression and hence simplified boolean function is f4 of abcd equal to b dash c dash or 
b dash d dash or a dash c d dash a dash c d dash this is the solution this is the simplified boolean function okay this is a little bit different example okay this is how it can be solved the problem was given this way mean terms we have to find then we form the mean terms following this procedure then k map we have drawn for this finally we found the simplified expression it's a typical example and that was the procedure next let us solve example 5 that is the last example simplify the following boolean function using k map f i equal to sigma m of 4 5 7 8 13 14 solution here input variables are not given but seeing to biggest mean term that is 14 to express this minimum 4 bits are required okay so 14 in binary how, how it is to be written 1 1 1 0 minimum 4 bits are required hence the number of input variables is 4 we may take them as w x y z or a b c d it is left to us so the solution maximum min term is 14 that is m 14 to express 14 in binary 4 bits are required that is 1 1 1 0 this is 14 in binary hence it is a four variable boolean function let the four input variables be a b c d then the k map is as follows so the four variable expression means 2 raised to 4 equal to 16 squares k map we have drawn here then input variables we have taken as a b c d so a b are written here c d here four combinations for a b 0 0 0 1 1 0 1 are written here for c d 0 0 0 1 1 0 1 are written here then whichever min terms are present in the expression 4 5 7 8 8 min term 0 1 2 3 are not there 4 5 okay present 6 is not there 7 is present 8 is present 9 10 11 12 are not there 13 is present 14 is present then 15 is not present so this is the expression seeing to this that k map is filled 4 5 7 8 13 14 so 4 5 7 8 13 14 4 5 7 8 13 14 so in those squares one is filled right after filling once we'll have to group them so group of 16 is not possible octet is not possible quad is also not possible then we'll have to try pair so these two form one pair this is a rectangle shape if you take fold both on, come in one square so first group it is a pair then to cover this this is paired with this then to cover this these two are paired this we have marked as two this we have marked as group 3 so these four ones are over how these two are paired on this line if you take a fold this one falls on this both come in one square hence they are adjacent they make a pair similarly these two one group these two one group these two one group three groups we have made this one we have called group 1 then this one we are calling group 2 this one we are calling group 3 so four ones are covered what about these two here no quad no pair nothing is possible here hence they are individual groups so this itself is an individual group how many members are there only one so how many members are in this only one so they cannot be made a group of 16 with anybody or any eight group group of eight ones group of two ones that is not possible hence individual is taken so this we call as group 4 similarly this group this one we call as group 5 then how many terms will be there in the final expression five terms then in first group 
row wise what is common column wise what is common so which is first group this is first group we have written how many members one two so both come in same row that is zero one is common with respect to a b a dash b that we have written here and column wise for that group so in this group column wise they are covering two columns 0 0 0 1 this 0 is common with respect to c hence c dash so this is with respect to first group we have written row wise a dash b is common column wise c dash is common next in group 2 so this is group 2 how many members the, these two they fall in two rows so here 0 1 1 1 this one is common with respect to b hence we have written b so in second group row wise b is common in second group column wise these two one come in same column so 0 1 is common with respect to c d so c dash d it is so c dash d so in second group row wise b is common column wise c dash d is common both we have written here okay next in third group so this is third group these two are the members these two one in same row so 0 1 is common with respect to ab so a dash b so a dash b that is row wise common in third group so in third group column wise these two fall in these two columns 0 1 1 1 so one is common that is corresponding to d hence d we have written hence in group 3 row wise a dash b is common column wise d is common then fourth group so this single member is there that comes in this row so a 1 uh, 0 that is with respect to ab so 1 0 means ab dash so ab dash so in group 4 row wise ab dash is common then in group 4 this member is covered in this column so 0 0 with respect to cd means c dash d dash c dash d dash that is in group 4 row wise ab dash is common column wise c dash d dash is common okay next group 5 this is individual member this one is covered in this row 1 1 that corresponds to ab so ab is written ab 1 1 it is as it is we have to write then this uh, fifth group member comes in only one column that is 1 0 so that column wise 1 0 is common with respect to cd cd here means c d dash c d dash so in fifth group ab is common row wise c d dash is common column wise these form the final expression hence simplified boolean expression is f i of a b c d equal to a dash b c d a dash b c dash or b c dash d or a dash b d or a b dash c dash d dash this is from fifth group and this is the solution okay i hope you understood and this is uh, another different individual groups are there only a group of only one one is there that kind of problem it is okay what is the final solution f i of a b c d equal to a dash b c dash plus b c dash d plus a dash b d plus a b dash c dash d dash plus a b c d dash plus means logical or here okay that completes the solution so in this video i have discussed different problems belonging to four variable boolean functions which are to be simplified using k maps i hope you understood thank you